Good morning guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. As you just saw, I just made my breakfast. I made oatmeal pancakes. Now that recipe there is basically just my regular oatmeal that I have Monday to Friday. However, it's nice to change it up every now and then. And sometimes on a Saturday or Sunday when I've got more time on my hands to spend more time on breakfast, I will turn my oatmeal into something a little more creative and make pancakes. So that's what I've had for my breakfast. I'm just about to head out now and go and do the grocery shopping. So I have more food in the house and we'll get started on a morning snack or some lunch. So guys, this is a big grocery shop that I do once a week. I try not to go back again after this because I find that when I do, I just start buying things that I don't need, especially if I go when I'm hungry. So I'll just quickly take you through what I've got here and then I'll get on to making some lunch a little bit after. So it's in no particular order. It's all over the place. Let's start with the fruit and veggies. It's most important for me that I do have a lot of fruit and veggies in the fridge because when I go to make dinner, if it's not there, then I just end up making something that's not so healthy and just thrown together and not so nice. So, got some baby cherry tomatoes, which are starting to taste really good now because it's warming up and it's the season. A little bag of fresh coriander, I really love it and I'm going to use it for some stir fries. This beautiful purple cauliflower, they never have these there, so I grabbed it today because it just looks so pretty. Pumpkin and a little box of potatoes, so that's the starchy carbs. Some grapes, we're actually going to sit outside today in the sun, it's supposed to be really warm and just have a few little snacks but just got some grapes to snack on. Got some purple asparagus, don't know why everything's purple but it just turns out that it was. I've never seen it like this before. Got an avocado, I do have more avocados, I have that every day pretty much with my lunch. Bananas, Again, I have that every single day. Courgette or zucchini, cucumber, some coleslaw. I really like that on the side, just as a wee side dish to my dinner meals. Or it's also really, really good in wraps. Got a couple of tins of pineapple chunks. I like to add this to either my little dessert that I make in the evening, my yogurt protein dessert, or just on top of my oatmeal. Some gherkins. Now for the protein sources I got, I actually got these prawn style pieces. It's not prawn, it's a vegan thing. Haven't tried them before so hopefully they will be really nice. I also got plant-based chicken strips. These are really good, we have these a lot. Tofu, tofu is the main protein that I use during the week. I've got to grab another couple of these but I usually get them from another grocer which does it a lot better than this. So got a low carb bread, sort of like a keto bread that my partner actually eats. She switches up between regular bread and this so that's actually really nice as well. I won't, I don't really eat this a lot. This is the bread that I got. I had this last week too. It's really good and they're slightly bigger slices too so I get a bit more out of it. Country low GI multi seed bread. I also got some low carb bagels which are really really good. Quite like toasting them and having them for lunches. Better put these in the freezer. I've got some blueberries again that I use for oatmeal or to add to my yogurt dessert. I got some eggs which we have every now and then usually on the weekend or at just boil them up and add them to some dinners. Some nuts for snacking. Sugar free maple flavoured syrup for oatmeal. My coffee, I like to have both of them. The little pods and just the espresso grind. So I've got three oat milks that I use for coffee mainly. And I have soy milk that I usually just put in oat milk when I'm making it. And of course I got porridge to make the oats. This is the creamy porridge. I think it's much nicer than just buying regular oats because it is a lot creamier and just tastes so much better. We've got a couple of snacks. We got a Danish and we got a ciabatta cream cheese sweet chili bun. Some sugar free drinks and some chips to snack on throughout the day and maybe next week. I think I covered everything. All right, I'm going to go and put this away and then come back in a little while and make some lunch.
All right, guys, this is it. I have to say it does look pretty good. That egg, uh, I did. I forgot to turn the element down a little bit and so it burnt pretty quickly. I don't really care. I don't mind a little bit of burnt egg. So I'm going to go and eat this now, enjoy this. Get outside for a little bit, get some sun and I'll be back in the kitchen for my next meal. All right, so I just ate lunch and I'm going to go, as I said, and sit outside and enjoy the sun. I'm going to take some grapes and some chips and a few little things and enjoy that for an hour or so. This is finally ready. I left it cooking for a little bit longer than I had planned to. I had a phone call. So yeah, it probably cooked for 10 minutes longer than it should have. However, it still looks good. It tastes good. I'm going to go and have this now. Then probably in a couple of hours, I will be back in the kitchen to make my dessert. It's a little protein dessert. Very healthy, but tastes like it's not healthy. Okay, I'm just about to have the last meal of the day. I won't be having anything else after this. It's not really a meal, it's more of a dessert snack. I have this most nights. It's something that I really enjoy and I don't get sick of. Well, I haven't got sick of it yet. Very simple to make, high protein, tastes really good, tastes unhealthy, but it's, I can tell you it's not, right? All I need for this is some Greek yogurt some protein powder i use vanilla for this but you really can just use any flavor that you like vanilla is my favorite it just seems to go with everything it makes it taste really good some blueberries it doesn't have to be blueberries i'll use any fruit that i've got but blueberries seems to be something that i have all the time so <laughs> So that's it, that's how simple it is to make. Sometimes I will add some maybe sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds to this, or 
some pineapple. Pineapple is really good with it too. Also, I like to add a little bit of whipped cream on the side every now and then, but for tonight, I'm not going to. I also added a little bit of honey tonight, something that I don't always do, but felt like a little bit of extra sweetness. So I'm going to go and enjoy this now and relax for the rest of the evening before I go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.